What's going on YouTube? Today I want to talk about AMD. Is AMD a buy? We all know that AMD is a very good company. AMD creates the processors and the graphics cards. They also create a motherboard, so they pretty much create everything you need for your computer to run. They, they, uh, they literally, you can just build a whole computer out of AMD parts, I guess and these are the most important components in a computer. The, the computer processor uh, provides the instructions and processing power the computer needs to do its work. The more powerful and updated your processor, the faster your computer can complete its tasks. And same with the graphics card, right? You could have an extremely good processor and a crappy graphics card and play a game and then the game won't run right. But you could also have a really good graphics card and a kind of good um, processor and your game will run great you know but with both of them being really good you're gonna be able to just mm, 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 just crush it RAM is also important the AMD RAM will work with both AMD and Intel platforms the main difference between the tiers will be speed and packaging so they make RAM as well uh, so these are all like the most important things that you can put into your computer so a lot of articles are saying AMD stock is a buy as impressive share gain story is intact and unless say an upgrade. AMD stock is down this year, which it is, why the dip is an opportunity to buy. Let's check out their earnings. So December 2021 Q4, their revenue was $4.83 billion and then their net income was $974 million. So their net profit margin was 20% and so they made 974 million dollars so they're doing really good as a company and they're making a lot of money they made money in September Q3 Q4 Q1 they made money in all of those quarters they're doing a really good job so year to date AMD is down 24.67% six months they're up 5%. They're around $103. And then it shot all the way up to $160. And now it's back down. It could be a good time to get back in. So I'm thinking it's getting to a price to where I could get back in. Uh, I want to recommend that anybody else gets into it. But I think I might. So AMD hasn't yet announced a concrete date that the Ryzen 6000 series of CPU will be released but we do know well they will debut in laptops at sometime in February 2022 thanks to AMD's 2022 uh, product premiere and since we're in February it should be any day now so I don't know if the market is already priced in this release but it should be coming soon so this might be a little catalyst for AMD it might run up a little it might not I don't know but I'm sure it's gonna be really good CPUs what is the Ryzen 6000 anyways so the Ryzen 6000 CPU is a processor that goes in a computer and pretty much like is like the core of your computer almost. So the Ryzen 6000 is an extremely good CPU and it'll be in over two 200 laptops featuring these new AMD processors meaning that pricing will differ depending on laptop configuration and retailers. The first Ryzen 6000 powered laptops are expected to roll out starting in February 2022. The Ryzen 6000, the RNDA2 iGPU, will use DDR5 memory. Alright, so you don't gotta worry. So AMD is skipping the 6000 series and moved directly to the 7000 series for its desktop chips. So I think the Ryzen 6000 is for the laptops. Yeah, the Ryzen 6000 is for laptops and then soon they will be coming out with a Ryzen 7000 series for desktops which is like the best thing to have for gaming you know like laptops are like eh, like they overheat they they're not as fast as uh, PCs because you have more room in a PC to like add more like components and chips and better uh, graphics cards and stuff like you can't just put a graphics card in a laptop like you gotta really do some like configurations with a laptop you gotta you gotta rig it up so I was looking at the fair value and the morning star is saying that the fair value of AMD is $114 per share up from $98 so 
it's trading around its fair value right now. The 35 analysts offering 12 months price forecast for AMD have a median target of $157 with a high estimate of $246 and a low estimate of $100. The median estimate represents a 38% increase from the last price of $113. Okay, so I don't know like about who these analysts are, but they're saying that AMD could is pretty much like their medium target is $157 of what the price of this of the stock or the company should be in the low price is a hundred which is kinda like where it is now so I don't think it could go down too much from here unless like the entire market crashes and the world just crumbles into pieces like Peter Schiff is saying but if you don't listen to Peter Schiff and you, and you don't think he he's correct then I mean and you think that the market is just going to keep smoothly like going and consolidating and doing its thing and it's not going to crash like 19 like 1929 uh then yeah AMD could go to $157 it's very possible cuz it was just there you know just like Apple's like went to 180 and now it's back to 168 you know but I mean, it's, it's definitely possible for it to go back up. I mean, it's a good company. If you invest in this company for 10 years, then you're going to be okay. NVIDIA is also a very good company. It's like pretty much AMD's competitor. But in my opinion, just investing in both NVIDIA and AMD would probably be my best bet. Because why not bet... Uh, invest in the competitors like like I'm not going to support AMD over Nvidia I want both of them to win if I'm investing in them because it's always good to have competitors Nvidia AMD and other semiconductor companies could be down due to uncertainties affecting the market primarily driven by recent headlines focusing on the tension transpiring with Russia and Ukraine yeah I think that the um, the market crashed a little bit because of the Ukraine thing going on in the America trying to get in there but I would just like I wouldn't worry about all that I mean if if China does take over Taiwan that doesn't sound very good for the Taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company and I don't know what that would do for all the chips in the world because they could just take over Taiwan and take over the company and then just cut the whole world off and then we could never get chips again and then all these companies could just tank and crumble and turn into dust so I don't know I would say for me I'm thinking about getting into the company the articles are saying it's a buy I'm not the one saying it's a buy. The analysts are saying it's a buy as well. So that's up to you to decide, but that's just these are just my opinions. I just wanted to talk about AMD and a little bit of NVIDIA. And just a reminder that NVIDIA is doing very well financially. They have a revenue of $7 billion, a net income of $2.46 billion. That's like $1.5 billion more than AMD makes. And they now have a net profit margin of 34.69%. Just for quarter four. Yeah, y'all have a good night. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Uh, oh, free stocks in the description.